Hi guys. So let's look at this next question from uh, you know from algebra from cat two eight twenty slot one. Okay. So we're doing this a series of uh, algebra actually for all the cat previous year questions. Okay. So all the good questions of algebra, which a uh, question which involve involves at least two concepts. Okay. So those uh, questions will be in this series, and it will be a very useful series uh, for all of you to follow because multiple concepts uh, will be get revised, and you'll know to uh, know how to approach such kind of questions. Okay. So let's look at this here. This question says that how many distinct positive integer val valued solutions exist to the equation x square minus seven x plus eleven raised to x square minus thirteen x plus twelve equal to one. Okay. See, basically, uh, in such kind of question, there are a uh, couple of uh, things I need to uh, see here. The first thing is always uh, remember this is like this is base here. Okay, so base is x square. Uh, we have like I can write here base is what base is x square minus seven x plus eleven, and here power is x square minus thirteen x plus forty two. Right. So in the first case, uh, always we can have one situation. Where base is equal to one, that means one raised to anything will will give me value as one here. So if base is equal to one, so one raised to any power, one raised to whatever power, okay. So one raised to any power will be equal to one. That's one way. The second way to think in such question is uh, when power is zero. Okay, so when power becomes zero, that means whatever the base, like a raised to zero is equal to one, है ना? And third thing in such questions is Whenever any minus one raised to even power, so all minus one raised to even power also becomes one. That means here base will be equal to minus one, and the power should be an even number. I need to see they are take these three things into consideration here. One, two, and three. Take it. So now let's take it one by one, guys. So in the first case, let's say I I make base equal to one. So we have x square minus seven x plus eleven equal to one. Okay. Now I'll be getting here x square minus seven x minus uh, sorry plus twelve is equal to zero. Sorry, should get plus ten. Okay, so plus ten is equal to zero. I can factorize this x square minus five x minus two x plus ten equal to zero. X into x minus five minus two into x minus five equal to zero. X minus five will take common here. I'll be getting x minus two equal to zero. That means x equal to two or five. That means at x equal to two or five, my base will be equal to one. So that means I can accept both the values. Okay. Let's go to second case here right now. Now second case is when we have power equal to zero. That means when x square minus thirteen x plus forty two is equal to zero. Okay. X square minus six x. I can split forty two by six into seven. 6x minus 7x plus 42 equal to zero, है ना? Then x into x minus 6 minus 7 into x minus 6 is equal to zero. So x minus 6 into x minus 7 is equal to zero. That means x equal to 6 or 7. So again, for 6 or 7, power power will become will become zero. Again, that is acceptable. Okay. So let's move to the last case here. So last case basically basically that is case three here. So case three says that minus one raised to even power. That means base should be minus one. I can write here x square minus seven x plus eleven equal to minus one. That means x square minus seven x plus twelve equal to zero. I can factorize as three and four here. Three x four x plus twelve equal to zero. Then I can take x square x into x minus three. Minus four into x minus three equal to zero. That means x minus three into x minus four equal to zero, and that means x equal to three or four. So now, but this third condition is to be uh, be careful here, guys, because at x equal to three or four, my base is minus one. Okay, but I need to check that only minus one raised to even power will give me one here. So the at three or four. Uh, this uh, this value should give me even power. Okay, so I check for both the values here. If I put x equal to three here, if I put x equal to three, I'll be getting three squared is nine minus thirty uh, nine is even number, and even plus even is even. That means x equal to three is giving me any even number here. That's fine. Then I'll, I'll check at x equal to four also. In this, I'll check at x equal to four. So at x equal to four, if I put here four square is even, 
even minus 13 into 4 is even so even minus even is even and again plus even is even so that means no issue here this is always even okay so at 3 or 4 both are even that means total 6 values can be accepted here okay so if you observe here this is 2 values here 2 values here and 2 values here okay so what will answer kya ho that means 6 would be the answer for this question okay x can take 6 values here okay so it's a beautiful question uh, asked in cat or uh, humne yahi exactly same as a question value change karke a class mein kiya tha and just people like logon ne pata tha ki answer aapko uh, normally aise question mein kya hota hai ki aapka answer 6 ya 5 aa raha hota hai theek hai kyunki ye do do yahan pe aayenge hi aayenge the normal quality dikh jata hai theek hai you need just need to check here 3 or 4 even hai ki nahi hai so, we have to check this 2 plus 2 is 4. Now, 6 or 5 or 4 is answer because this is the check. So, people very easily solve this question. But, it's a good question. Hai, okay. So, that's why important ki, that is what is important ki, aap apna content knowledge increase your content knowledge. So, content knowledge means that you study such in depth, what depth you have to study, what you have to study, what you have to study, what you have to study, कि cat zat में उसके काफी similar questions मिले even जो उस paper के difficult level of questions हो तो जब आपको difficult level of questions करोगे then that's what separate you from the crowd of 94, 95, 98 तब जाके आपको 99.5 plus आएगा ठीक है so you need to solve some two three four extra questions apart from that crowd of like 95 to 98 के crowd के लिए उससे आपको चार पांच question extra solve करना है तो यही कुछ question हर एक paper में कुछ difficult question solve करने पड़ेंगे and you need to practice well for that okay See you guys in the next video. Thank you. Also guys, I teach live at An Academy Plus. So any of you who wish to buy subscription, they can look at these two features here. We offer these two subscription. And a lot of guys keep asking in comment, ke, sir, which one is plus or iconic. Le. So normally I would say that plus is available in Everything is available. All the classes, all the uh, mocks, jitne bhi aapke quizzes, hai, question bank, hai, everything is there. Theek hai? Uh, plus. Mein. But हाँ आपका अगर need है कि uh, it, it depends on your need right अगर आपका need है कि नहीं मुझे hard copy चाहिए ये आपका already digital notes है जो जो ये book आपको मिलती है ना उसका already PDF version है आपके app में eView format में ठीक है it's in eView format right तो अगर आपको hard copy चाहिए अगर आपको GDP भी चाहिए अगर आपको one on one mentorship चाहिए one on one अगर अलग से uh, doubt solving session चाहिए question चाहिए तो आप iconic ले सकते हो ठीक है so you can just see that and uh, मेरा referral code है रवि रोधा so अगर ये apply करोगे आप तो at that time whatever is the maximum discount you will get uh, at that point of time ठीक है so see you guys in the next video thank you